When you look at both guys, Joseph Parker has several one-punch clean knockouts where he's put guys out cold. Joshua, I don't know if Joshua's got a one-punch knockout. Joshua has to hit you with three, four, five punches. And admittedly, they're very, very heavy punches. But I can tell you this, in 24 professional fights, I've never seen anybody hit Joseph Parker with two punches in a row, let alone three, four, or five. Sure, he can get hit, you can hit him with one, but I've never seen Joshua knock anybody out with one punch. And Joe, does it go 12? If it goes 12, I know that my fitness can take me. You know, we train for 12 rounds, but like I said, anything can happen in the fight. I want to be prepared to take his you know, the best punches that he's going to throw, and hopefully he's prepared to take mine. But I think as heavyweights or as guys who really want it so bad, I think someone will get knocked out. I think the trash talking should still hold a sense of respect to what we've achieved. And world, cha world champion to world champion, I look at it like this, in terms of mental strength, it's all good. I've defeated champions, I've faced Olympic champions. So what Parker will see and who you say he is, I feel that he'll be looking at the mirror because across the room will be someone just like him. Another world champion, another undefeated champion who's mentally tough, with speed, that can take a punch. And if he does take a punch, there's two types of people who take a punch. One who gets put down and stays down. Or would you hate to fight the one who gets put down and gets up and keeps on coming? And that's who he's dealing with, really. So he'll be facing someone who he sees every day in the gym, who his coach sees every day in the gym, to reflect in the other corner. So that's what I think will make it a great fight.